Hi guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess today. How are you doing? Well, finally, 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 I'm getting these journals up on Etsy today. I've been working on these off and on for a few months and I, you know, I would work on them and then I would put them aside and then I'd work on them and then I put them aside. I mean, these were a kind of a, they're, they took a long time because they, I coffee dyed paper. I sewed in here. This is all stitching that I actually stitched on here. I'll show you. And then, you know, and then they're, they're fabric covered. Now, one of these journals, it's this one right here is going to be up there on the site. And this one, I was going to do this to all the journals, but I had a really hard time finding real vintage, um, something that I wanted to use for the um, cover. So this is the only one that has this like vintage um, uh, lace on here or a doily, if you will. So this is the only one that has this. And I was going to go ahead and embellish it a little bit more. And I thought, no, I'm going to leave it and let the person who buys it embellish it. So this one's the only one that's a little different in that it has this little lace. And so this one will be separate and it's, it's going to be a couple, two or three dollars more just because of this, because that's, I think, fair to do you know anyway because there is it's kind of a big difference but this if i were you if i bought this if i were you i'd get like some of those tim holtz old dolls or some old photo photos you could you know uh, i mean there's so much you can do with this base right here for a vintage journal but anyway so that's that oh they're all hand stitched they're all not, uh six by nine i believe let me double check that Yes, I'm back. They are all six by nine. So that is my standard journal size that I've kind of stuck to these days. So anyway, so let's just tell you what there's. There's this one with a larger red check and there's there's two of these with the larger red check and everybody has lots and lots of paper clip fun going on up there. Oops, that one looks like it's falling off. I'll have to find out what that one goes to. If not, well, I'm gonna stick it back in there. Anyway, so two larger red checks. This one's gonna be with, uh, with uh, I'll probably say like lace on cover or something and this will be just the larger red check put that aside and there's two large green check um, ones aren't these fun you guys oh my gosh I loved these I'll tell you a little bit more about this fabric in a bit this is not vintage fabric this is brand new fabric um, but it's got this look about it and I'll talk we'll talk about more uh, more about that here in a second but uh, and then we have the small red check okay so you see we have two large green two small red and two large red but one with lace so we'll start with that so i think i'm going to flip through a little bit you know just to give you guys an idea of what's going on here uh so basically they all have three signatures i don't know if you can see that they're all sewn in three signatures sewn in each one has a little rivet up here for a spot to put a, a charm and I show you what I'm going to include with this. I'm going to include one of these uh, clips from um, Tim Holtz. Okay, it's kind of like a vintage looking clip. Now let me tell you the secret of this. When you get this, you want to pinch this together kind of like that and, and it'll open. And you'll see here on the side where there's a little, see that little hole right there? That's where it, it you know, it twists. So just pin, pinch it together but you have to pinch it together to get it out. It took me a second to figure that out. I mean, probably you could figure that out, but me, it took me a while. And then what I would do if I were you is just put that down in here like so. And then um, you got to kind of get the signatures out of the way there a little bit. And I'll go ahead and leave this one on here. I might just ship these with those on there, but maybe not. I don't know. You know me. I don't know. So let me, hold on. Put that in there like so. It's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. There we go. So that's in there like that. I'll probably leave this in there for you. <laughs> Whoever gets this one. And then let me close that up. Oops, like so. And then you'll have a little place right here to add some bit, bits and bobs. I'm not going to do that. So, I mean, I probably won't leave this on here in case you don't want it on here. But I will send you each one of these things in your uh, packages. So let me take this off want to do it okay so everybody's going to get one of these with your journals i mean you don't have to use it on it but it's nice to have one of these anyway all right so let's just go back to this their fabric and they all have uh hand sewn in um signatures there's three signatures you can see the signatures right there so there's one two three this one has a little extra something in here that didn't fit right there and i didn't want to do anything with it so i just stuck it in there so 
Um, basically, they're all going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to flip through, um, but they all have uh, vintage cards. Everybody has vintage cards. Of course, not all of the cards are the same. So you just have to kind of, um, you know, hope that you get the one that you want. I guess. I don't know. So anyway, so I sewed these down the side with a little zigzag stitch. Should I come in a little bit? Maybe I should. Let's see. Let me try and just a pinch. There we go. There we go. And there's some botanical paper. This one has a wedding gift. So all of them will have different little cards you'll see. Um, and again, this is all coffee dyed paper that I coffee dyed over the summer. So I'm just some graphic stuff that I pulled offline. Every This has just been stitched right here with some, um, you know, I don't even really know what that is, but some matching fabric, I guess. And some um, muslin, I guess that's what it is. Here's, an, here's another um, very old um, car, greeting card. It's so old, I don't know how to open it. I guess they did it that way. Isn't that cute? So that's from Bobby, Larry, Nancy, and Linda. Isn't that cute? So you're going to have a lot of fun with these cards and things that are in here. Some old catalogs here. Some more stitching over here. Let me see if I can go. And there's some more stitching. And here's another little happy parents for the baby girl. Another little. This one's so cute. Look at the shoe. is tied with a little yarn. Isn't that cute? A little pink yarn. This is stitched. I got some matching. Um, or, you know, some fabric that goes, you know. Uh, and a and vintage label. Everything is pretty much vintage in here. Occasionally, I will put something in here that's not vintage, but you're going to find a lot of vintage ephemera in these journals. They're all going to be a little bit different, but they're all going to be vintage. This looks like it's a picture of somebody. This Somebody made a... Um, this is my dad, Wilbur, in the Army during World War II, a postcard that he made out of his dad, who was in the Army. This is some... Um, this is that girl, that Linda... Or Judy Morris, she's a star. Remember when I was in LA, I found a bunch of ephemera that belonged to her. Remember that? So all of a lot of her stuff is in here. So you'll see that. And then there's just some old pictures and some uh, an FFA -F -F -A handbook. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure one of you do. But that is in here. And some more uh, ephemera and some old stamps. And now a lot of these envelopes that are in a lot of these will have something in them, but a lot of them don't. But this one is going to uh, Nikolai and Sons Airmail from Jacksonville, Florida, from Nikolai Sons to Nikolai Sons. That's really odd. But anyway, so but there's there's the postmark and the stamp. I don't know what happened to the stuff that was supposed to be in there, you guys. So um, you're, some of them have letters and some of them don't. So I don't know. It's just weird. But there's just some old packaging on this one. Oh. This is oh, a pilot's qualification report from 1964. And he was just out flying and getting qualified, I guess. National Airlines Incorporated. Um, so there's a lot, some, some flying stuff in here. If you're like a pilot, like I wanted to be at one point. Not a pilot, but I did fly. And then it's just some, um, it looks like something French. What is this? Uh, this is the artesian class and honoring the prothymium class welcomes the senior prom from 1964 at the girls gymnasium at university high school <laughs> so there's that a lot of really cute ephemera in here um, and then there's the back of an envelope let's see if there's anything in this one see some of them don't have anything in it and it bu bugs me but this was to the nurse nursing academy and this is 1976 some, some stitches there some Coffee dyed doilies, again, some catalog paper, and all the beautiful um, uh, pages. This is from a sewing sewing book, and I sewed on it. What do we got here? This is just an old, I guess it's an old uh, shorthand book, some more paper. So you can make this your own, you know, these pages, this is from the United States Capitol. Oh, somebody took a tour in the United States Capitol. Doesn't say when, but it, they, they went on a tour in the United States Capitol. That's pretty cool. Oh, and there's some more of this um, stuff from, what did I say her name was? Um, but she was in a play, so here's her play um, pamphlet. Here's a thank you card. A lot of fun ephemera. This is a love story. I don't know, just a piece of 
you know, old newspaper. Here's some more uh, beautiful pictures, some old postcards, uh, a doily, some different recipes it looks like somebody likes, some more ephemera, some more old pictures, postcards. What's this? Okay, so this is a letter. Okay, so this is a letter. Army and Navy Young Men's Christian Association with the colors. Well, we arrived safely this morning at 3 o'clock at the... At 8, 3 o'clock a.m. rather late to go to bed, but they let us sleep until noon. So this person was in the Army, and this is a letter home to the Army. It's four pages. I'm not going to read it to you guys. Um, but, yeah, that's four pages. Where's the... Anyway, so there is there's that. So I don't, and I would say when you get these, don't ha handle them too roughly because they're very vintage and they they're old. So I'm not sure what that is, but it's a postcard and then the old Easter card. And it doesn't say what year, but it's old. it is vintage. Oh, some of these pictures, I don't know, they look like monkeys, but that's okay. And then it's a wonderful. I don't know what that is. Oh, dear granny and all, Bumpy, thanks for everything. I like the skirt. Best of all, I'm glad you sent me some brownie money. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I'm glad you sent me some brownie money. That's really cute. That's an old card there. Just, you know, another old packaging. And another little funky monkey. Another little funky monkey. Here's another Thanksgiving card. That's pretty. That's actually really pretty. From Ralph. And I don't know the names, but. So you get the idea. So it's all very vintagey and um, just some old packaging in the back here as well. And I'll probably add a few. I'm going to add a few more things as a little gift to you from me. So yeah. So there's one. I'm going to kind of flip through another one real quick. Find out where did that go. And here's another one with a get well soon. And again, there's the sewn, sewn, sewing on there. Let's put that up there a little bit. And then another uh, bringing you a get well. It's a get well card. And here's another. Um, oh, but it has something in it. So this is Standard Coffee Company to Miss Dell in Clematis Avenue in New Orleans. And what's in here? Well, it's kind of gluey, gluey down, and I'm not going to open it. I want you to do that. So if you want to do it, you do that. Some pretty old-fashioned images. Here's another letter. Is there anything in this one? Yes. Yes, there's actually something in this one, but I'm going to leave it for you to have a surprise. Um, another old-fashioned card. Thank you, card. Some cards and some more ephemera. Does this one have anything in it? It doesn't look like it. That's another empathy envelope, but it's old and cool. And you're invited to something. There's some more old newspaper. Here's a turkey tetrazzini recipe. And there's a postcard of Elvis Presley singing. <laughs> so, and there's a, what's this? Oh, that's a pretty card. I don't think that's... I don't think this is vintage. I think it just looks vintage, but it's a pop-out. Oh, look at that cute it's a little pop-out card. That's not vintage. 1993. I guess it is vintage. <laughs> you know, these days, right? Not, when, when you can say 19, 1993 is vintage. Oh, how does that make you feel? Oh, awful. What's this? There's another baked peas. Is that how you're supposed to spell peas? Baked peas. P-E-A-S-E. -E. Okay. That's interesting. There's another another old, really old card. And you are cordially invited to something else. Buccaneer Night bu Buffet and Dancing in Los Angeles on Como Street. And he's a handsome dude. Oh, here's an old picture of some army people. <laughs> army people. I'm so sorry, you guys. A couple of those. A couple of these and this and that. And another picture here's a letter oh my gosh this is so old you guys letter number one dear beloved ones with will my second month in the army so you can have that read that 1918 guys 1918 
So, yeah. And here's another letter from Office of the Jury Commissioner. You are hereby notified that you have been found qualified and eligible to serve as a jury. Uh, 1975. Wow. That's cray cray. Here's some pictures. Um, so, you know, if you're not into the vintage uh, vibe, this doesn't have to be vintage just because it's copy dyed and, and old fashioned. You can, oh, there's just an old pin that I put in here. It looks like it's Japanese. So, um, you know, you can, you know, take the vintage stuff out because I didn't put anything. This is a famous American composer. I didn't glue anything in here. Everything is just in here with paper clips, you guys. So, you know, you can take everything out and then make this your own and put your own spin on it. This is Stanford Public Schools. I don't know, 19, year 1979. Um, you know, so, and then, you know, you can journal in it. This is a journal, so you can actually journal in this. You don't have to, you know, you can take all of this out and use it as a ephemera. And this is an old card, birthday wishes. It's in a plastic bag, so I left it in there for protection. And this is the Young Singers, 1964. So, anyway, so you get the gist. There's lots of fun stuff in these, and a little extra in the back here that didn't fit, that I just didn't want to... Um, I am distraught. Some other equally dishonest person has wrenched from my book and bosom the pictures of Rima, most notoriously, or most horrendously, the one as she jumped from the framing something tree. Well, somebody did that. It wasn't me. <laughs> but you don't want to talk to us as the meth makers. We wrench things from books all the time. Anyways, you guys get the gist what these are. So they are all on um, on my Etsy shop right now. I am paying for postage on these. So if this is something you might like to have in your collection, let me know. Again, I will be adding a few more little things, bits and bobs to the packages because I'm not shipping these out in my envelope. I'm shipping them out in a box because I, I don't want them to get ruined. So these will also be packaged in um, vintage paper patterns. And I'll probably add a pattern into each one of these two. Not a pattern, not the full pattern, but the picture of the pattern on the front, okay? Just the, just the paper itself, not the pattern. So I use the pattern to wrap them up, and I'll just put a pattern in each one of these for you. So anyway, these are on my Etsy shop. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. I really hope you enjoy these as much as I really enjoyed making them. And uh, Happy New Year to everybody. And we, I've got some news for the website, or not the website, but the channel to talk to you guys about soon. But I just want to get these up and loaded and sold. And then I've got some other kits coming. So stay tuned for those. If this isn't your cup of tea, stay tuned. I have some more kits. And um, uh, there are some, four more kits on my website of the, um, the Christmas journal kits. The Fatty Patty Christmas Inc. Glue Book kits. There's four left. So if you're interested in that. So, thanks so much, you guys, for the support. I really love and appreciate you so much. We will chat later. Have a great day. Bye now. Thanks again.